Hi guys, welcome to third grade chapter 12, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So all these want to know is if this is a right angle, which means it has the little boxes in here, if it is less than a right angle, so if it's smaller, like these guys right here, this arrow right here is smaller, or if it's bigger, like this guy right here, okay? So this one, anytime that you see these little boxes, that means that it's a right angle, okay? Every single time. You see those boxes, that's a right angle, okay? Now, I think of when, the, when a angle is smaller than a right angle, like this one, it's called an acute angle. And I always think small, tiny, it's acute. And then when it's big like this, when it lays back more than a 90 degree angle, more than a right angle, um, it's called obtuse. And I always think it's obnoxious. So it's bigger and grander than a right angle, obnoxious, obtuse, okay? That's how I remember it, which means that this one would be more than a right angle, okay? So, this one, write how many of each type of angle this shape has, okay? Well, this one, it has one, two, three, four boxes, so that is going to be four right angles, which means there are no others, okay? On this one, each one of these angles is the same, and they're all more than a right angle, okay? So there are no right angles, there are no less than right angles, but there are one, two, three, four, five angles that are greater than a right angle, okay? You guys try and do number six, okay? We're gonna go down and do number seven. It says, Jeff has a square piece of art paper. He cuts across from one corner to the up to the opposite corner to make two pieces. What is the total number of sides and angles in both of the new shapes? So, he has a square piece of paper. He cuts it into half. Okay? So now, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, sides, and because it's a triangle, all triangles have degrees that are smaller than a right angle. So, I'm sorry, greater than a right angle. Hold on. Oh, they just want to know how many angles. So, if it has six sides, you have the same amount of angles that you have Sides. So six sides means six angles. It actually doesn't want to know what kind of angles, but they would all be, they would have two 90 degrees and then two that are smaller on each one. Okay, Kaylee tells Amy that the shape of a stop sign has at least one right angle. I don't see any of these corners that are right at 90 degrees, right at a perfect squared angle. Okay, write it in L. So it says, Amy says there are no right angles. Who is correct and explain? Well, Amy's the one that said there were no right angles, so Amy is correct. And there are all of the angles are larger or bigger then right angles. There we go, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. You guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we are going to do the spiral review. Okay, I know that you guys can't see, but only this one is shaded in. There we go, okay? so. What fraction of the group is shaded? Well, there are one, two, three, four, five, six altogether, so that's my denominator, my bottom number, and only one of them is shaded, so that's one, okay? All right, this one, the denominators are the same, so I have the same amount of pieces, but on this side, someone ate four, and on this side, someone ate three. Four is bigger. 
okay? What is, the, what is straight, continues in both directions, and does not end? Well, that's a line, guys. You guys have already done those. All right, how many line segments does this shape have? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven line segments. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.2. Come on back for 12.3. See you soon.